All right, since the installation process was changed a bit in version two of Workflower, I thought I'd update this first part of this installation tutorial and then later we'll come back to my past self. But for now, future Constantine will explain to you how to install the script itself. So I'm coming up to my file browser here. You have a few files inside of here. I would just recommend to use a really, uh, manage app from a script, which is really great. And this will install all the necessary files for you. However, if you want to do it the manual way, then the first thing, there's the regular workflow JSX file. So you're just going to copy it, then go to the After Effects scripts folder. This is the path for the scripts folder. And there you can just paste it. I already, of course, have it in here. Just make sure that it's at least in the top 20 scripts in this folder. Otherwise, it's not possible to apply um, shortcuts to it. So if you have other scripts that name-wise would be before that, you'd have to rename them. Another thing to keep in mind, never to rename the file itself. Otherwise, it, you know, just won't work. There's also, when there's an updated version, you'll get a file with the same name and then you just have to copy it, paste it into this folder and then override the existing file. And also make sure to not use the scripts folder that's under app data. You need to put it into this folder where you need the administrator privileges. The same also goes for the script installation you can do from within After Effects. That's also not what you should do. You have to put it into this folder. Additionally, there are two other files uh, that you can install, but you don't have to. There's now the script UI panel, which so many of you have been waiting for. And it finally is here. And yeah, you just go to copy and then go to the script UI panels folder and then, you know, paste it in here. I of course have it in here as well. Now this is an optional file. Um, you don't have to install it if you don't want to. However, this file is really mandatory, the main script file. Otherwise the script UI panel, it just won't work. So you need to at least install this one. And then there's also the plugin file that you can install. This makes it possible so you can just double click on a group header and it will be open and closed. What is important here that you have to take this whole folder and I'm gonna go to support file plugins. And it is important that you take this whole folder, copy it and then just paste it here, right? I already have it. And, um, but don't just copy um, the uh, plugin file itself. You need to have this folder structure, this folder copied into here. One thing with this plugin file, there's an issue on Mac. So most likely when you'll first open up After Effects with that plugin installed, you get an error message that, you know, Mac cannot scan for suspicious software. I mean, you have to take my word for it, I guess, but I, I would say it's fine. Afterwards, just open up Workflow and that will give you um, instructions how, how to get rid of that. It's pretty simple, it's just one button to click, but um, you know, it will show you how to do it. All right, if you haven't done so already, after you install all these files, you have to restart After Effects if it's already open. And from here on, I'll hand it over to my past self to explain to you how to set everything up from within After Effects. All right, now we're in After Effects and what you have to do now is go to File, Scripts and then go to Workflow. And if you don't have it enabled, it will show you an error message that you have to make sure that um, scripts are allowed to write files and can access the network. So hit OK and click on Allow Scripts to Write Files and Access Network. Hit OK. Then it um, thanks you for using Workflow and it asks you whether you want to enable the shortcuts, which is very essential for Workflow, otherwise it, it won't work at all. So click yes. And if you have the default um, keyboard layout preset um, enabled, you will have to switch that because you can't apply the, the shortcuts to that preset. So click on create, select another preset 
And I'm gonna, you know, create a copy of, of the default file here. So I'm gonna go to save as and call this workflow, for example, hit okay and hit okay. And now it asks you whether you want to start with the with workflow as default shortcuts. Um, yes, I want that. And then we come to this panel where basically all of the shortcuts um, are already applied to it, the default ones. This panel will look a little bit different on Mac and I'll come back later how everything works on Mac because the way you apply shortcuts also works a little bit different there. All right, back to the panel itself. This works pretty much the same on Mac and Windows. You can edit um, your shortcuts here. So just go to the edit button here and type in the, the combination of keys you want you want there. If there's already, you know, something that exists there, it tells you that it already exists. And it's sometimes difficult to tell, you know, which shortcut exists and which doesn't. So um, if you want to check that, go to check possible combinations. It tells you that you can't edit the shortcuts in the following panel. So we come up to After Effects main panel. And then if we hold on our keys, we can see, all right, which are free combinations available. So, um, and then just click on cancel. If we found the shortcut we want to use, then come up to, to our main panel and, you know, then, you know, just type in the shortcut that we want to use. I don't want anything changed. I think they're perfect. That's why <laughs> obviously that I w chose those as the default ones. Um, so yeah, after you're done here, just click on save. And then it tells you that you will be directed to the shortcuts panel. That's just unfortunately necessary. The only thing you just have to do now is hit okay. And then um, workflow shortcuts are applied. So um, yeah, if we open up a comp and you know, you see that we can um, already start on building, um, you know, our groups and whatever we want to do with, with workflow. -er. I'm just using all the shortcuts now and, you know, it works perfectly fine. Um, just as a, some background, how it works, if we come up to the um, shortcuts and we go to file scripts, we see that all of the shortcuts have been applied to this, this one script that we put in here. And within the script, it is being decided which shortcut is being pressed. So this is kind of the, the way it works and it makes it um, very easy because you just have this, this one file. Um, unfortunately, this is the way it works on Windows. On Mac, um, you know, due to certain limitations, it doesn't work, unfortunately. So on Mac, it works differently and I'm gonna show you now. It works, you know, in a different mode, so to say. And on, on Windows, you can select that mode um, as an alternative. And I'll tell you later why you can use it on, on Windows in certain circumstances. So if we come up to the main menu and we go to the settings and we go to shortcuts, on Windows, we have this drop down here. We don't have that on Mac. On Mac, the only mode available is this individual scripts mode. Let's go to set shortcuts for current layout. And it tells me that I have to restart After Effects as an administrator to be able to do that. On Mac, this isn't necessary. You only have to restart it as an administrator on Windows. The good thing is you just have to do it for setting shortcuts. After that, you can, you can just run After Effects normally. So now we're running After Effects as an administrator and to set shortcuts on individual mode or you know on Mac, you will have to go to file scripts and then go to your workflow file. And then you go to the settings, go to shortcuts, and then go to set shortcuts for current layout. Um, now you see it looks a bit different and um, it tells you that you have set 20 of 20 possible shortcuts. Um, this is because, and if we go to the file here and to the scripts, unfortunately, um, you can only set shortcuts for the first 20, um, scripts here. This is kind of the way After Effects assign shortcuts to the scripts. Um, so we are kind of limited. So let's say you have other scripts you want to apply shortcuts to. Um, if we go to the shortcuts, um, 
you know, you might not want to use 20 possible shortcuts. You can use this dropdown to maybe go to 15 possible shortcuts, or for example, that you would assign workflow shortcuts to. You already see that uh, the number of shortcuts here have been reduced by setting this lower. So if I set it even lower, we see the, the number of shortcuts get lower as well. Uh, in my case, I want to use uh, all the 20 possible shortcuts. So I set it to 20. And then if I go to reset to default, um, the 20 most important functions will get a will get a shortcut here. Let's say I would want to add another shortcuts to whatever ungroup layers, for example. It tells me that the maximum number of shortcuts is reached. So I would have to, you know, remove uh, a shortcut or something and then I can add a shortcut here. I don't want that. I'm going to reset it to default again. And um, yeah, then I'm going to go to save. Now it tells me that the shortcut slots have been installed successfully. And if we go to the scripts, we see that 19 other um, workflow scripts have been um, installed here, you know, which is, you know, 20 in total. And um, now um, all the shortcuts will have been applied to, to those scripts. So if we just um, restart After Effects, we can, we can use those. So let, let us just do that. Okay, now we're back. And like I said, um, at least on Windows, you don't have to run it as an administrator anymore. You know, if we go to scripts and um, we see that uh, shortcuts now have been applied to, to all, of our, all of our scripts. And if we create a comp here, we can just um, use our, all of our shortcuts very easily. So why would you use the individual scripts mode on Windows? In, in most cases, I would say it makes much more sense to use single script mode. And this is just because you can set more shortcuts. So you can apply to basically to all of workflow functions. But um, on the other hand, you can also apply shortcuts to other scripts as well. And on individual mode, you're kind of limited to a certain number of, of shortcuts um, you can use. However, there are some advantages to this because on single script mode, sometimes you might get an error because the way it works, like I explained, the um, script will be called by every shortcut. And then within the script, it is being decided which shortcut is being pressed right now. But due to this nature, sometimes there is a little bit of a lag between executing the script and within the script determining which shortcut is being pressed. So sometimes the script might not recognize the shortcut. It's a very rare instances, but it might happen. And another problem that sometimes occurs is that within the script, the variable that reads which um, key is being pressed cannot be read at all. And I don't know why this happens, but for me, this happens maybe once every couple of weeks. For me, that's no problem. And if we go to the workflow user guide, this is kind of the, the error message you sometimes get. And the unfortunate thing with this error message is sometimes you really have to restart your computer. So yeah, every couple of weeks you might have to restart your computer. Like I said, I don't mind that. If you have more of a problem with that, switch to an individual um, script mode. Okay, Constantine from the future here again. Um, one of the features introduced in Workflow 2 is the script UI panel. And now I want to show you how to use it. So you go to window, as you, of course, probably know. And then down here, there is the workflow script UI panel, if you have it installed. And you can dock it anywhere you want. So let me just dock it here as an example. And it also comes in different configurations. So um, if I were to move this here, you'll see now I can dock it like this. Or you could also dock it like this here, or the way I prefer it, just dock it on the side. And now we have it nicely here. And then of course we can just create a group from here and do all the stuff we wanna do. We can use our modifier keys. Now we can dissolve this group again and all of these things. One more thing with the script UI panel, let's say you want to dock it like here. 
but if I dock it like here, maybe I want the timeline to be a bit smaller, but then the icons are not really visible here anymore. So what you can do is go to the settings and then go to the MISC section and there you can click on Customize Script UI Buttons. And now I can say, all right, maybe I don't need the Precompose button here and I don't need the Enable Disable group and the Solo group and maybe I also don't need the Refresh function here. And then I can click on Apply and then I click on Save. And now this is much tidier and now it can neatly fit into the space I have here. However, I don't want to do that, so I'm gonna turn all of them on again. One thing to note about executing functions from this panel, let's say I would want to relabel this group, so I select this here and I go to relabel layers and then this dialog appears in the center of the screen. However, probably I would rather want to have it here and the good thing is if you um, close it and if, if you press it again, it will appear exactly at the position that you um, left it the last time. One thing that sometimes happens with this panel that I noticed is that in very rare cases, let's say um, you want to precompose this for example for whatever reason and then you are going to this panel and click on it, sometimes this function will not execute because somehow After Effects thinks only this panel is selected and there is no active composition selected and then of course if there's no active composition then workflow will not execute anything so what you then have to do is if a button doesn't do anything you just have to select the comp again and then click on the button again and then 99 percent of the cases it works um, maybe also another thing could be that there's something with the internal workings of the panel and what you can also then do is just right click on empty space here, not on a button. And then you also have this option here, restart script UI panel. And this also then helps uh, in some of these other instances. Or you could also just, of course, um, restart it manually by closing the panel and opening it back up again from here. Another thing that is new now are certainly easier ways to learn workflow. One thing are extended tooltips. So if you hover over the functions, as you can see, you now get very detailed explanations of what they do. And if you hold on um, one of the modifier keys, now we also see the information for merge mats here, for example. Let's say for create mat, now I want to find out about more. Another new thing that has been added now is that you can right click onto the function and there you have, um, you know, different options. You can go right to the user guide chapter, for example. And this will open up the user guide chapter or you could just go directly to the video tutorial chapter about how to create a mat and then yeah you'll get here right away.